We have zero plan on how I'm supposed to do this. We did not. Hi, I'm Marcus <laughs> and I'm black. And this is Ask a Black Snowboarder. And I've been sponsored twice. And you can follow me on the Instagram, at Digbeats. Can we just use that? No. Come on. No. Come on. No. Oh. Um, well, I'm not the creator of this, so that's a plus. Uh, that's all on Avery, and then he happens to be very, very white. So, I'm pretty sure this show doesn't even qualify. Um, because if they start pumping my viewership up, that's going to subject me to a level of criticism and most likely aggressive ridicule that I'm just not equipped to deal with. But, you know what, fuck everybody on the internet, so, who cares? Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, I don't even think we value Ask a Black Snowboarder. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I mean, when we started this, I thought, all right, fine, I'll, I'll fucking do it, Abram. Like, you've been asking me for five years. I'll sit on camera, say some dumb shit, and after a week, we'll... We'll put up like five or six questions and that'll be the end of it. We'll never see this shit again. Well, here we are, 55 episodes later. <laughs> and if possible, I'm pretty sure people have to care less now than they did before. Still here, though. Well, I might not be the best person to comment on it. So, <clears throat> while I realize that I should probably be on board with Black Excellence, I can't help but feel like this is one of those times where we just put black in front of a word to try to lower the bar for it. Essentially to take everyone else out of the pool so that we can set our own standard of what's good and what's not rather than being subject to the actual consensus or real judgment. Now, mind you, I am not all that well versed in the black excellence idea because I inherently don't like it. So I haven't paid that much attention to the details. That's my initial take and that's part of why I've ignored it almost entirely because my knee-jerk reaction is, Oh, sweet. Black people just put black in front of something so that they didn't have to be held to a higher standard anymore and they can decide what's good and what's not. And, like, I'm black. I get it. Like, we get shit on. We get underjudged. We, like, we get the short end of the stick frequently. That's not an excuse to stop trying. Like, in my opinion, if you feel like you're being slighted, force them to recognize you. That's why I like contests. At the end of the day... It got to a point where judges had to sit there, look left and right, and say, if we don't give him first place, everyone's going to know we're fuckers. And I feel like that holds true in society as well. You know, if black people want the recognition that we generally believe that we deserve, we have to be so good that we force the critics or the consensus to acknowledge it lest they be viewed as fuckers. Beat that shit into submission. All right, so this has been Marcus Stevens, your resident black snowboarder for Ask a Black Snowboarder, brought to you by the Angry Snowboarder. I'm not angry, he's angry. Let's remember that. I'm not angry. I love you guys. And if you love me, like, subscribe, share, click the bell so you get the alerts. It's down here, somewhere. I don't know much about YouTube. Uh, yeah, tell your mom, tell your friends, and uh, if you hated it, I'm doing my job really well. So we'll see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to leave comments, because I will talk shit to you. Oh, another thing, guys. If you like what we're doing and you want to try to support, check out the link below. We've got a Patreon now, and it gives you some really cool options with great benefits to give us some support monthly and get a little bit back and some sneak peeks behind the scenes. So check it out.